than this thing over here, I guess. Um, as it goes for neonatal ventilation, we can use an A40. Oh, oh, oh. Careful there. Knock it. Knock it. So yeah, you can use an A40. Its functionality is acceptable, maybe adequate, but not exceptional. That makes sense. So in other words, it's not sensitive enough. It's not safe enough for most premature babies. But it can do it. And if you ask people to sell parents a minute, they say, oh, it does better than the servo. Yes, people that don't sell the servo, they'll tell you the same thing. It does better than the A40. Because everybody wants to sell their brand. You know? But from experience, the Avia and this, in my opinion, are the only two that should be in the Avia. Okay? Because um, their abilities are far beyond what most other than others can do. Okay. So, all the layers these days, they're basically a compressor with a computer. It has a blender in there so you can mix up your gases real good, and that's all it is. So it all depends on what software you bought on your machine. They all come standard with SINV, HC, volume control, and pressure control, right? That's what we learn in the books. Now then you throw in all the other stuff. VC um, Plus, I Time, Bloody Food. <laughs> so, you got a patch for that. It's not this one that turns it off. Right? It looks like a power button. This one's in the back. That's on the back. Right. This is actually how you put the machine in standby. Can we plug it in? Alright, we're good. These actually are pretty amazing on the battery life. They can run up to 12 hours if they have a full copy. 